Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on our channel Immortal News. Today we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours. As always, we have special tributes in our today's top headline section. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin, thank you. Number 7. Alexio La Bruja, a courageous voice in reggaeton. Alexio La Bruja, also known as Alexio La Bestia, a prominent figure in the reggaeton music scene, passed away from breast cancer at the young age of 34 on November 14. Born Victor A. Riverain on December 11, 1988, in Carolina, Puerto Rico, Alexio rose to prominence in 2015 with hits like Tumba La Casa and Tarara, collaborating with renowned artists like Daddy Yankee, Nicky Jam, and Ozuna. Diagnosed with breast cancer in 2017, Alexio's journey was marked by bravery and resilience. His deteriorating health became public on November 12, prompting appeals from fellow Puerto Rican stars for blood, platelet, and plasma donors. Hospitalized in Guaynabo, Puerto Rico, Alexio's battle was a testament to his warrior spirit, as echoed by peers like Archangel, who urged support for him on social media. Daddy Yankee, among other reggaeton stars, expressed their sorrow and respect on social media. Yankee's tribute highlighted Alexio's silent legacy, his strength in facing trials, and his inspirational attitude towards life's challenges. Alexio's positivity, even in his final days, left a profound impact on those around him. Despite his illness, Alexio remained active in music. His full-length debut album, El Origin, released in July, exemplifies his dedication to his art and his desire to fulfill his goals in life. In a 2017 interview, he expressed his fear of leaving the world without achieving his dreams and leaving his family unprotected, underscoring his commitment to his career and loved ones. Alexio La Bruja's legacy is not only in his music, but in the courage and tenacity he displayed throughout his life. His influence on the reggaeton community and his message of perseverance will resonate with fans and fellow artists alike. Tribute to Alexio La Bruja. Number 6. Oladips, a voice of change and expression in Nigerian music. Oladips, a well-known Nigerian rapper, tragically passed away at the young age of 28. The news of his death has left his fans and the music community in shock, as expressed by his management in a recent Instagram post. The cause of his death remains unclear, but it was noted that he had been silently battling personal issues for two years. Renowned for his storytelling rap style, Oladips was not just a musician, but a voice for political and social issues. He used his platform to address critical topics like the NSARS protests against police brutality, and he also delved into mental health and depression in his lyrics. This approach to music earned him a strong fan base and respect in the industry, with one fan emphasizing his top-notch storytelling skills. The impact of Oladips's music was evident in the outpouring of tributes, including from public figures like Big Brother Nija contestant Hermes Ayela, who expressed his condolences and hope for strength for the rapper's family. Oladips's journey in music was marked by a significant milestone in 2015 when he won the King Is Here rap competition hosted by Nigerian music icon Dibanj. This victory catapulted him into fame and opened numerous doors in his career. At the time of his passing, Ola Dips was preparing to release his new album titled The Memoir and had recently released a single called Die Young. His untimely death comes as a shock to the music world, especially following the demise of another popular musician, Moba, just months earlier. Ola Dips leaves behind a legacy as a talented artist who used his music to voice the unspoken and confront societal issues. His contributions to the Nigerian music scene and his advocacy for change will be long remembered. Tribute to Oladips. Number 5. Roger Castell, the artist behind the iconic Jaws poster. 
Roger Castell, an esteemed illustrator and artist known for creating one of the most iconic movie posters in history, has passed away. Castell's legacy is cemented in popular culture through his creation of the unforgettable poster for Steven Spielberg's Jaws, depicting a menacing great white shark approaching an unsuspecting swimmer. The journey of the Jaws poster began with a commission for the paperback edition of Peter Benchley's novel. Castell's creative process involved meticulous research, including photographing sharks at the Museum of Natural History, to capture the realistic and terrifying image of the shark. The swimmer in the poster was brought to life with a model posing in Castell's New York studio, skillfully capturing the essence of vulnerability and impending danger. Castell's work on the Jaws poster transcended its initial purpose, becoming synonymous with Benchley's novel even before the movie's release. Its subsequent use as the film's poster only amplified its impact, contributing significantly to the movie's cultural phenomenon. A native of White Plains, New York, Castell's artistic journey was shaped by his studies at the Art Students League in New York City and his time in the Navy during the Korean War. His career spanned over a thousand illustrations for various publishers and novels. After Jaws, Castell continued to leave his mark on the film industry with posters for other famous movies, including the artwork for The Empire Strikes Back. Roger Castell's artistic genius not only defined a genre, but also left an indelible mark on the visual language of cinema. His works, particularly the Jaws poster, continue to evoke awe and admiration, standing testament to his extraordinary talent. Tribute to Roger Castell Number 4. Don Walsh, a legendary explorer of the ocean's depths. Don Walsh, an American oceanographer, explorer, and marine policy specialist, passed away on November 12th at the age of 92. Walsh's name is synonymous with oceanic exploration, particularly for his record-setting dive into the Challenger Deep in 1960, the deepest known point in the world's oceans. This feat, achieved alongside Jacques Picard in the Bathyscaphe Trieste, marked Walsh as a pioneer in deep-sea exploration. Walsh's career spanned over 50 years, deeply intertwined with ocean science, engineering, and marine policy. After graduating from the United States Naval Academy in 1954, he served as a submarine commander and worked on ocean-related research and development for the U.S. Navy, eventually attaining the rank of captain. His academic achievements were equally notable, earning degrees from multiple institutions, including a Ph.D. in physical oceanography from Texas A&M University. Walsh's expertise was recognized at national levels. He was appointed by Presidents Carter and Reagan to advisory roles and was elected to the National Academy of Engineering in 2001. Beyond his military and academic contributions, Walsh was an avid explorer. He participated in dives to iconic locations like the RMS Titanic and the German battleship Bismarck. His work was honored by entities like the National Geographic Society, which awarded him the prestigious Hubbard Medal, and he received the Distinguished Public Service Award from the U.S. Navy. Walsh's legacy extends to his family, with his son Kelly continuing the tradition of deep-sea exploration. Don Walsh's life was a testament to the spirit of discovery, and his contributions to oceanography and marine science have left an indelible mark on the field. Tribute to Don Walsh. Number 3. Radcliffe Bailey, a conduit of cultural expression and African-American legacy. Renowned artist Radcliffe Bailey, celebrated for his profound contributions to the art world, passed away on November 15th at the age of 55. Bailey, who made Atlanta his home, received international acclaim for his impressive body of work, including a significant mural at Atlanta Hartsfield Airport. His artistry not only welcomed visitors to the capital of the South, but also offered a glimpse into the rich cultural treasures it holds. Bailey's career, marked by early recognition and acclaim, placed him in the echelons of notable African-American artists like Romari Bearden, 
Since emerging in the art scene in the early 90s, Bailey's unique sensibilities to tapestry and color have been hailed as quintessential elements of African-American art forms. In an exclusive interview before his death, Bailey revealed his constant pursuit of learning and the importance of representing his family and community in his art. He described his studio as a sanctuary, a place of prayer, and a space for solving problems and finding peace. This introspective and spiritual approach deeply influenced his work, making him one of the most celebrated artists globally. Bailey's art was a confluence of various cultures and histories, reflecting his belief in the importance of community involvement and giving back. He saw himself as an agent rather than the focal point of his creations, emphasizing his work's purpose to transcend his personal narrative. The artist also expressed concern over the underrepresentation of African-American art in formal institutions, highlighting the need for more substantial support systems like galleries and auction houses. Despite this, he remained hopeful about the future and celebrated the triumphs and resilience of the African-American community. Radcliffe Bailey's legacy is not just in the art he created, but in the cultural narrative he wove through his work, celebrating the richness of African-American history and its profound impact on the world. Tribute to Radcliffe Bailey. Number two, George Chigova, a remarkable talent in African football. George Chigova, the former goalkeeper for Zimbabwe's national football team, tragically passed away at the age of 32 after reportedly collapsing at his home in South Africa. Chigova, who had previously suffered a heart attack in July, leaves behind a legacy as a celebrated athlete and a beloved figure in African football. With a career spanning 32 international appearances for Zimbabwe, Chigova was a formidable presence on the field. His journey with football began in his hometown of Harare with Gunners Harare, eventually moving to Dynamos FC. His talent soon took him beyond Zimbabwe, leading to his first stint with South African team Supersport United in 2014. After a period with Polo Quain City, he made a significant impact playing 125 times for them before returning to Supersport three years ago. His club, Supersport United, mourned his loss, remembering him as a gentle giant and a great club man. Chigova was not only admired for his skills on the field, but also loved for his character off the field. His visits to the training ground and stadium to support his team, even after his official tenure ended in June 2023, spoke volumes about his dedication and love for the sport. Chigova also shone in international competitions, playing a crucial role in Zimbabwe's success in the Kosafa Cup in 2017 and 2018. His contributions to the team at the African Cup of Nations further cemented his status as a key player in Zimbabwean football. The football community in both South Africa and Zimbabwe, along with his fans worldwide, mourn the loss of George Chigova. His passing is a significant loss to the sport, and his memory will live on in the hearts of those who admired his talent and spirit. Tribute to George Chigova Today's top headlines. News 1. General Roland Lajoie, renowned for his pivotal role during the Cold War and later in disarming Soviet nuclear weapons, passed away at age 87 from heart surgery complications. Lajoie, fluent in Russian, served in key positions in Moscow and Germany, skillfully blending military strategy with diplomacy. As the head of the U.S. military liaison mission in East Germany, he encountered a tragic episode in 1985 when Major Arthur D. Nicholson under his command was fatally shot by a Soviet guard, profoundly impacting La Joie. Later, as a brigadier general, he led the on-site inspection agency, ensuring compliance with the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. Post-retirement, La Joie focused on dismantling former Soviet nuclear arsenals and locating American soldiers missing in action in Russia. 
born to French-Canadian immigrants in Nashua, New Hampshire. Lajoie's distinguished career was marked by dedication and bravery. He is survived by his wife, children, a sister, and grandchildren. His final resting place will be Arlington National Cemetery near Major Nicholson. News 2. Annie Richardson, a victim of the recent stabbing at Louisiana Tech University, succumbed to her injuries on Tuesday. This incident, which officials are calling a random act of violence, occurred on Monday morning, leaving four people attacked. 23-year-old Jacoby Johnson, a senior at the university, was arrested following the attack. He was charged with four counts of attempted second-degree murder and is currently in custody at the Lincoln Parish Detention Center. The assault took place near the university's Lambright Sports and Wellness Center, involving a knife with a four-inch blade. The attack left three other victims injured, including a class instructor and two attendees, aged between 23 and 72. One victim, a retired teacher, refused medical treatment. The university community and the town of Ruston, home to about 22,000 residents, have been left in shock. Louisiana Tech President Les Geese expressed deep condolences, emphasizing the community's need for support and unity during this difficult time. Richardson, an artist based on campus, was known for her mixed-media work and had her art exhibited across Louisiana. The university has reaffirmed its commitment to campus safety in the wake of this tragic event. News 3. Pop icon Madonna has opened up about her life-threatening health scare earlier this year. The Queen of Pop revealed that she was on the brink of death due to lung and kidney failure while in the intensive care unit in June. Speaking at a concert in Paris, Madonna shared the harrowing details of her condition, including a 40% mortality rate and dependence on a breathing cannula. Madonna described waking up to see her children around her, feeling that they were her salvation. She recounted the emotional moment her manager, Guy Osiri, tearfully questioned her future plans, highlighting the gravity of her situation. Struggling to regain her strength, Madonna was initially unable to even walk to the bathroom unaided. However, inspired by her children, she found the will to fight back. Her recovery, she says, was driven by the desire to share the stage with her family, including performances with her 11-year-old daughters, Esther and Stella, and her 18-year-old son, David. Thanking her Paris audience for their support, Madonna hinted at a possible memoir in the future. The singer's return to the stage marks a remarkable recovery, defying many who feared for her life. Madonna is set to continue her comeback with sold-out shows in London's O2 Arena, proving her resilience and enduring spirit. The entertainment industry is in mourning after the tragic loss of Matthew Perry, best known for his role as Chandler Bing on Friends. His co-stars, including Jennifer Aniston, David Schwimmer and Lisa Kudrow, have shared heartfelt tributes. Schwimmer, who played Ross, praised Perry's humor and creativity on Instagram, while Aniston, portraying Rachel, highlighted Perry's integral role in the show and their lives. Kudrow, known as Phoebe, reminisced about the daily laughter Perry brought to set. Perry, 54, was found unresponsive at his Los Angeles home, and his passing has left fans and colleagues deeply saddened. Aniston expressed a wave of emotions in her tribute, emphasizing Perry's talent for bringing joy. Schwimmer admired Perry's comic timing and heartfelt generosity, and Kudrow thanked him for a memorable decade. Courtney Cox and Matt LeBlanc also paid homage, with Cox, his on-screen wife, expressing gratitude for their time together, and LeBlanc cherishing their shared moments. The Friends cast collectively expressed devastation at Perry's loss. A foundation has been set up in his honor to continue his work in helping those struggling with addiction. Perry's legacy endures as a beacon of laughter and kindness in Hollywood. Number 1. Jesus Osiel Bena Saucedo, a pioneering figure for LGBTQ rights in Latin America. Jesus Osiel Bena Saucedo, Mexico's first openly non-binary magistrate and a prominent LGBTQ activist, was found dead at their home in Aguascalientes on November 13. Baena, a trailblazer in advocating for LGBTQ rights and representation, leaves behind a legacy of groundbreaking achievements and a deep commitment to social justice. Baena's tenure as a member of the central Mexican state of Aguascalientes' electoral tribunal marked a historic moment in Latin America as they became the first non-binary magistrate in the region. This position was not just a personal achievement for Baena, 
but a significant milestone for LGBTQ representation in high-profile roles. Baina's work focused on opening doors for LGBTQ individuals in influential spaces and decision-making roles. In an interview with CNN in Espanol last October, Baina emphasized their journey as a testament to the possibility and potential of the LGBTQ community to occupy significant positions based on merit and capability. They were a beacon of hope and inspiration for many, demonstrating that gender identity should not be a barrier to professional success and societal contribution. Despite Latin America's progress in areas like marriage equality, Baina's untimely death highlights the ongoing challenges faced by LGBTQ individuals, including discrimination and violence. Baina's commitment to advocating for LGBTQ rights and their historic role in the judiciary will be remembered as a crucial step toward greater equality and representation in the region. As investigations into their death continue, Baina's life and work remain a powerful reminder of the need for continued advocacy and progress in LGBTQ rights. Tribute to Jesus Ocial Baina Sacedo.